Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of Adam's Eats. How are we doing? Now today I'm not going to cook one of my own recipes. Uh, I'm going to do something slightly different and cook a recipe from a cookery book. Okay, a little bit different. Um, it's not actually any old cookery book. This book here um, is actually one of my favourite cookery books of all time. Uh, it's called The Essentials of Classic Italian Cooking uh, by Marcella Hazan. Now she's an absolute marvel. She made Italian cooking uh, really accessible to Americans and as you can see the book that she's written here is absolutely enormous and it's full of so many good recipes, uh, some really good basics in there, how to make pasta, how to make pasta sauces, just, just loads of stuff and it's a really good book. Now I first got this book years ago when I was a food blogger. Uh, we did a Secret Santa one year uh, which means that another blogger sent another blogger a present and vice versa and this turned up on my doorstep and I was just like really impressed. And the recipe we're going to make today is peas, bacon and ricotta sauce. It uses really simple ingredients that are nice and fresh and in season. I'm going to use some nice summer peas which I know it takes a bit of time, you've got to get them out of the pod and stuff but it's really really nice. You can use frozen peas if you just thaw them out uh, but for this I'm going to use fresh. So that's what we're going to make today folks. If you hit that pause button, make a list of what you need and the first job is we need to go and pod a load of peas. Right, okay, so I've got a big bag of peas here, uh, 450 grams in weight, which is a pound, and that's the shelled weight. Obviously, once we take them out of the pods, it's gonna be less weight, and also, if you're using frozen peas, it's gonna be less weight as well, but I'll put all of that in the description below. Now, all we're gonna do is I've got two bowls here. I've got one for the shells and one to put the peas in, and all we're gonna do is just take a pod, pop it, run your finger down, and you'll see it open with all the peas inside. Get the peas into one bowl, and then discard the pod. And then just repeat that with the rest of the peas. And once you've shelled the peas, that's what you're left with. You can discard the pods, and now we need to chop up some bacon. Right, okay, so the bacon I'm using is back bacon. It doesn't say in the recipe whether it needs to be smoked or unsmoked, uh, but for this one I'm using unsmoked. Now the recipe calls for 115 grams, so I'm just going to weigh some of that out on my scale. Okay, so I've just weighed out the bacon, and all I'm going to do is just slice it into smallish chunks. Okay, and I'm just going to pop that onto a plate for now. And I think that's all the prep done, so we can get on and start cooking. Right, so all I've done with the peas is just rinse them lightly, and I've put them in a pan of cold water. And I'm just going to add a small pinch of salt, and I'll put the heat on, and I'll bring the peas to a boil, turn them down to a simmer and then just cook them until they're just tender. If you're using frozen peas however, you won't need to do this step, you just need to thaw them out. And whilst those are cooking, we'll get on and fry the bacon. Right, so I've got my pan here and I'm just going to add a touch of olive oil. It doesn't call for it, but I'm just going to add a little bit just to get it going. And then put the gas on to a medium heat and then we'll add the bacon. Now the recipe says you want to fry it until it's lightly browned but not crisp. So that's what I'm gonna do, which again should take about a couple of minutes. Right, so I've been cooking this bacon now. Uh, I would say that's a light golden brown. And now I'm gonna add the peas, which I've just drained. And again, on a medium heat, you just wanna cook that with the bacon for about one to two minutes. Right, so I've cooked the peas and bacon for a couple of minutes uh, and I've turned off the heat and now we're gonna cook the pasta. So again, I'm just gonna go in and add a pinch of salt. I'm using conchigli pasta here, which is what the recipe recommends, uh, but rigatoni is also nice as well. Get the heat on, so bring that to a boil, turn it down to a simmer, and then you want to cook that to about a minute or two less than the packet instructions. So I'm going to cook that for about nine minutes. Now whilst the pasta is cooking, we can get on and make the ricotta sauce. Now to make this sauce, it's really simple. Uh, I've just got some fresh ricotta here which I need about 115 grams. It's very precise, Marcella. So I'm just gonna weigh that out, get that into a bowl. And then the recipe also calls for 15 grams of butter. So I've got some really nice French Brittany butter here. Again, I'm gonna weigh that out. Yeah, looks about right. <laughs> we'll add that in. And then I'm gonna lightly mash it together with a fork. Okay, that's what it looks like. I've just transferred the ricotta sauce over to a bigger bowl because looking at the pasta, now it's cooked, uh, I don't think that bowl's gonna be quite big enough. So I've drained my pasta. We're gonna have to work quite quickly here. Uh, whilst it's still hot, you wanna add that into your bowl and then mix the whole thing together until it all combines. Now, I was quite worried at first because I thought, mm, is it gonna turn into a sauce? I don't know. 
And then just off camera here, I'm just warming through the bacon and pea mixture. Okay, so once that's nice and hot, we can add that in as well. And then here I've got some freshly grated Parmesan cheese. So I'm gonna put six tablespoons of that in. Some freshly ground black pepper. I don't think it needs any salt because the Parmesan's quite salty and also the bacon as well. So again, we'll mix that through. Right, so I think that's ready to go. So let's serve it up. Right, so I'm gonna serve this up in this nice big deep white bowl. And then I'm gonna finish it off with just a nice generous sprinkling of freshly grated Parmesan cheese. And there we have it, folks. Right, I think it's time we tuck in. Right, here we are then. Let's give it a try. That, that's one big bowl of pasta. Obviously it's not all for me. Give it a go, get a bit of everything. It's quite dry. I think if I was to make it again, I'd probably add a bit of the pasta water just to help cream it up a bit. But the flavors are absolutely amazing. That ricotta is nice and creamy, salty bacon, and you get a nice fresh zip from those peas. Could probably done with a bit of salt as well. But it's really delicious, really simple to make, which is what this channel's about, really. Now that's about it for today, guys. So thanks for tuning in and watching. And if you want to get a copy of this book, I'll leave a link in the description below. And if you want to make this recipe, it's page 176, I believe. Yes, it is. Leave a comment below, let me know what you think of the recipe, and also if you've got any suggestions of things you want me to make as well. And also stick around at the end because there'll be some links to some other videos, and if you want to subscribe, there'll be a button for that as well. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you next time for more tasty fun and frolics, and bye for now.